The Nobel Prize is considered the world's most prestigious prize. The nomination and selection process of a Nobel Prize winner is long and rigorous. It starts with a nomination of thousands of candidates whose names are scrutinized by experts until only the winners remain. Amazingly, it is not until the winners are announced that they even know they had been nominated. Every year since 1901, the Nobel Prize is awarded to those who, during the preceding year, shall have conferred the greatest benefit on mankind. Now, with over 100 years of Nobel Prizes to look back on, it is clear that some discoveries have conferred greater benefits on mankind than others. The following four Nobel Prize winning discoveries are arguably among the best of the best. Nobel Prize number one. In 1901, the very first Nobel Prize in physics was awarded to Wilhelm Röntgen for his 1895 discovery of x-rays. The ghostly image of a woman's hand seen here appeared in almost every newspaper in the world. People at the time were stunned by this chilling picture. It was the hand that literally shook the world. Doctors, however, instantly realized that this new photographic technique could help them look inside the human body without surgery. Within weeks, they were using x-rays to diagnose broken bones and to find embedded bullets. On October 14, 1912, a man visiting Milwaukee, Wisconsin was shot by a saloon keeper. The bullet can clearly be seen in this x-ray. The man lived and carried that bullet with him for the rest of his life, dying six years later. The man was former president Theodore Roosevelt. Nobel Prize number two. In 1923, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to Dr. Frederick Banting and Professor John McLeod for the discovery of insulin. Before this discovery, and for thousands of years, a diabetes diagnosis meant wasting away to a certain death. While insulin is not a cure, this medical discovery has and continues to save millions of lives worldwide. If you suffer from diabetes, you are alive today because of this medical miracle. Nobel Prize number three. In 1945, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to Alexander Fleming, Ernst Chain, and Howard Florey for the discovery of penicillin and its curative effect in various infectious diseases. It was a discovery that would change the course of history, recognized as the most efficacious life-saving drug in the world. Many of you are here only because penicillin saved your life or the life of one of your parents or grandparents. Penicillin's ability to cure people of many once fatal bacterial infections has saved so many lives that it is easy to understand why it was once called a miracle drug. Rushed into production during World War II, there was enough penicillin on hand to treat every soldier who needed it. By the end of the war, it had saved millions of lives and had spawned a huge pharmaceutical industry. Last but not least, Nobel Prize number four. The Nobel Prize discovery you are about to see, most people have never heard of. Yet it is just as powerful and as life-changing as the X-ray, insulin, and penicillin. It is one of the best of the best. This discovery has the potential of saving approximately 2,500 American lives per day and millions of lives worldwide each year. The Nobel Prize in Medicine for 1998 was awarded to three American scientists for their discoveries concerning nitric oxide as a signaling molecule in the cardiovascular system. So what does that mean? The medical benefits of these discoveries can be summed up in four words. No more cardiovascular disease. And this without drugs or surgery. Dr. John P. Cook, MD, PhD, is head of Stanford Medical School's vascular unit. He wrote a book based on this Nobel Prize winning science called The Cardiovascular Cure. 
This title alone speaks volumes. Seldom, if ever, do we hear the word cure coming out of the pharmaceutical industry. Treating the symptoms of a disease is far more profitable than finding a cure. On the back cover of this book we read, in 1998, the Nobel Prize was awarded to scientists for the discovery of a chemical produced in the lining of the blood vessels that keeps them free of plaque. Do you think the pharmaceutical industry wants you to know that there is a chemical produced in the lining of your blood vessels that keeps them free of plaque? Of course not. Nobel laureate Dr. Louis Ignaro, who also wrote a book based on his discovery. The title says it all, No More Heart Disease. Think of it, No More Heart Disease? What a bold statement, yet the scientific proof is overwhelming. Don't take our word for it. Buy this book. Go to your local bookstore and buy this book. So why haven't you heard about one of the greatest Nobel discoveries in history until now? Hugh Downs and Bottom Line Books have the answer. Some of you may have seen this advertisement with Dr. Ignaro or have watched the TV broadcast. Bypass in a pill, wins Nobel Prize, then gets buried. Nobel Prize winner Dr. Louis Ignaro made a special appearance on the Hugh Downs broadcast to reveal the covered up truth about this astonishing breakthrough. He's discovered a miracle molecule that could make bypass surgery, angioplasty, and blood pressure drugs obsolete. So why haven't you heard about this? The reason is, this amazing discovery has been killed by big money medicine, meaning big pharma. So how profitable is the drug industry? Marcia Angel, MD, is a senior lecturer at Harvard Medical School. She was the first woman to serve as editor-in-chief of the New England Journal of Medicine. She has written a revealing book titled, The Truth About the Drug Companies how they deceive us, and what to do about it. In her book, she writes, the most startling fact about 2002 is that the combined profits for the 10 drug companies and the Fortune 500 were more than the profits for all the other 490 companies combined. It's all about the money. Cardiovascular disease is big business for the pharmaceutical industry. In 2007, statin drugs alone generated $34 billion in revenue to the drug companies. And according to the Journal of the American Medical Association, adverse drug reactions in the United States caused 1.5 million hospitalizations and 100,000 deaths, making it the fourth leading cause of death in the country. Twice as many people will die each year from adverse drug reactions than are killed from automobile crashes. To put it into perspective, it would be like a Boeing 767 fully loaded with passengers crashing every day of the year with no survivors. Do you think that would make the evening news? In the next presentation, we will illustrate how the discovered chemical produced in the lining of the blood vessels keeps them free of plaque. You will learn the most important determinant for your cardiovascular well-being or lack of it, the buried truth the drug companies do not want you to know.